my name is Therese and welcome to my home today. I'm going to share with you my favorite recipe for sourdough chocolate cake. It's one of my family's new favorites and a great way to use extra sourdough starter that you might have left over if you're making your own starter at home. Earlier this week I shared with you on how to make your own starter uh, to make sourdough breads and muffins, donuts and the list goes on and on. This cake is rich. It's dark, it's delicious, it's decadent. There is really no reason someone wouldn't love it. And what's great is instead of using cake flour or white flour, it uses white whole wheat flour. We're gonna start with one cup of butter, again, room temperature or two sticks, and we're gonna cream them together. We're gonna add two cups of white organic sugar. And here, you do wanna beat for a while on about medium or medium low with your hand mixer. Beating should take about three to 10 minutes, depending. The more volume you can get in your butter and sugar, the lighter your cake will be in the end. And... Okay, so we've been beating this for a couple of minutes. You'll notice it's lightened in color. Um, this is basically incorporating air into the butter and sugar. Again, this is an essential step in starting your batter. You really wanna add as much volume starting here and helping to continue forward. Next, we're gonna add three eggs, one at a time. I like to crack them in a separate bowl just to make sure you don't get any eggshells in your batter. No one wants extra crunch with their bite of cake. And we'll beat it real gently on low for about 15 seconds. Add second egg. Again, this is all about adding extra volume to your cake. This is our final egg. Now we're going to add a cup and a half of your active sourdough starter. This is going to add the acidity to our cake batter. That's going to help it rise later when it mixes with the baking soda. This cake does not have any baking powder like some traditional baking or like some traditional cakes do. We're going to mix it again real briefly just to get everything incorporated together in a low. Next, we're going to set this aside for just a moment, and we're going to mix our dry ingredients together. For our dry ingredients, I'm using white whole wheat flour. This is flour I ground yesterday, so it's extra delicious, extra healthy, and there's no chance of it being rancid. So it's two cups flour. We're going to add one cup of cocoa powder. I like to use organic fair trade cocoa from our co-op. We're going to use one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. No skipping on the baking soda. And then a half a teaspoon, or excuse me, one teaspoon of unrefined sea salt. This is to add. I like to use unrefined sea salt because it adds extra minerals to your food. Okay, we're just going to whisk this together. So we're going to mix our dry ingredients now with our wet ingredients. Our wet ingredients are one cup of whole milk, preferably. I like whole milk. And I'm going to mix in with my whole milk right now, one teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to start with our dry ingredients, then go to our wet ingredients. We're going to do a third dry, a half of the wet, third dry, half wet, third dry. We start with our dry and end with a dry because it's going to help add volume. We're not going to want to overbeat it. This is, again, an essential part for getting a light cake. You don't have to be over precise with this. Just estimate a third. Half of our milk. And then mix it again. Okay, we're going to scrape down the sides and again just make sure everything's incorporated in. And now we've got a really delicious, really thick, wonderful batter. So we're going to use nine inch round cake pans that we've greased, lined with parchment paper, and then dusted with cocoa. This is just going to help your cake come out a lot easier. And just divide the batter in half. We're going to bake these cakes in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. You might have to go a little bit longer if you're using an, an eight inch pan. All you're gonna need to do is test it with a toothpick, stick a toothpick in the middle. If it comes out clean, your cake is done. Okay, spread out your butter batter just to make sure it's nice and even in your pan. And 
and it's ready to bake. That easy. We have our double decker and chocolate cake with delicious chocolate icing and almonds on top. Absolutely wonderful and you will love every bite. And try to share if you can. <laughs> it's light, you can see it's light in texture, it's fluffy, wonderful. Enjoyed with a glass of whole milk. Straight from the farmer. Let's see how this baby tastes today. Mmm, my favorite. Easily, easily my favorite. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will take the time to make this cake um, and enjoy it as much as my family has. I also hope that you'll take a little moment to cast me a vote in Project Food Blog. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.